Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Transcribe Plus, which uh, allows you to do all sorts of cool stuff to your audio and video as well. So this is going to be a full tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to get going. Personally, I think it's an essential app. I think it's awesome. I think it's extremely clever. Now, with this update, uh, all the processing for the splitting of the audio files, etc., is all done within a device. So you don't need an internet connection to do that. Like many of these uh, kind of programs send it off to the internet to do the splitting. All this is done on your device. Okay, so very basics. You can import an audio file here. We can go to browse and import one of your music files or whatever. I've got a few already imported. And then it will load like this. So for instance, this is backwards and forwards. We can play a little bit of it. You can play with the EQ. Right, you can speed, while it's playing, you can you can adjust the speed and the pitch independently, okay? So if you are learning a piece of music or you're remixing one of your own pieces of music, then this is just awesome. Check it out. Silent in the screens The people don't smile And the children don't play Okay, so I can't do this with a mouse, but it's double tap here, double tap in this section here to reset. Now we can also play with the pitch. Backwards and forward and round and round. I can work it out in my mind. I can work it out. What's in my mind? I can work it out. What's in my mind? Or a mixture of both, we can adjust the speed so we could slow it down and reduce the pitch. Again, it's a double tap to reset both. And your indicator for pitch and speed is here. Okay, so the coolest thing is splitting the audio into four stems. This is super, super clever. And it's all done within this. So uh, we'll keep this track for now. And you go over here to the little toaster icon, tap on this. And this is where you can set certain settings. You can change the actual appearance of the app here, with different color schemes and stuff like that. Okay. To the, basically the one that suits you. We'll keep it on this dark theme, I think. And then you can also switch on and off the EQ toolbar, which is this here by doing that. We'll leave it switched on. We're going to process it in stereo because it's a stereo file. And then I here's where the cool thing is. Isolate vocals, bass and drums and instruments. Tap on this and it gives you options. If you want to split it into four stems, it'll do the vocals, bass, drums and instruments. Two stems, it'll do vocals and all the components. Or you can just have one stem split. Now you can export your stems. So for instance, say you just wanted to lift out the drums. Not a problem. We could do this. Let's tap on drums. And it's processing the audio. Takes a, takes a few seconds. There'll be a little cut here and I'll rejoin the video when it's split. Okay, so now this is basically the rhythm track. So very quiet at the beginning. If we go to a bit where it's a bit more busy. Okay, or we can then go, well, okay, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to go, um, well, we can restore the original track initially as well. So get back to... 
Now, this is a there's a lot going on in this track. It's quite busy, so there will be some artifacts. However, if you think about it, if you take that drum stem and you export it out into something like Cubasis or whatever, you can re EQ re it, add effects to whatever you want, remix the whole thing. It's really clever. Let's do this. Let's this time split it all. Okay, so, well, that was super quick. So obviously I've done this one before in the past. So, which is nice because the app remembers. Now it's split it into four stems. So let's see what's going on. Let's take it to, I don't know, about here. About here now we can start to take the vocals out. Just left with bass and drums. So that way you can split up your track into four stems and then you can export those stems. So if we go here, we can go export stems and we get various options, M4A, MP4, AIFF, WAVE, CAF and AAC. You choose this and then obviously you choose where you'd like to export it to. It's exporting it now. So and then when it's finished, it'll say, where do you want to put it? I'm going to cancel that. So I'm going to put in another track. Let's do this one. I want to show you something. I'm going to put in this one called pause button. And this is one I was working on earlier. So you'll see that you can also add flags. And I have this, you can, using this wave bar along the bottom, you can jump to any part of the track you wish. And if you're on a part that has a flag, if you double tap, double tap on the wave view here, it'll jump to the next flag. <laughs> And this is another point as well that you does audio scrubbing. So it's a nice way to find out exactly where you are. You can also pinch and zoom. So if we jump to say. This part here, we press play. Now this is a simpler track, there's a lot less going on, so the processing will be like better. Round in the circle, chasing my tail. Not enough hours left in a day. Upside down and downside up. Chasing my tail like a deranged pop. Right, another thing you can do, let's scrub along for a little bit. Say you want to work on a particular section of your track. You can add loop points in. Okay, so if we click on the loop button here, thanks, I'm just let me do this. Click on the loop and it will place a loop where your cursor is. Okay, so if we, we can delete this, let's maybe go to this section. Uh, let's scroll back a little bit. Hit the loop. And then we can drag this loop out any way we wish. And we could add, also, if we wanted to, while we're there, we could add another flag here. And then we can call these flags anything we like. Let's just say, uh, you could call it loop one, for instance, you can select a color and then you can go done. And then that flag is then associated with where this is. However, you can, you can move the loop and the flag will stay where it is. So, or you can move the flag like that, you see, and you can add another flag underneath it as well. So you say you wanted to make another note or something. Okay. Do this. Now, if we have this loop set like this. And it will, of course, work with taking stuff in and out. I've had the pause button on my life had the pause button on my life had the pause button on my life had the pause button the pause. 
Now we can extend the loop, of course. We can put the cursor somewhere else, like like uh, the. Uh, let's move back a little bit, or, or there, a little bit closer. And we can add another loop. There's no limitation to like how many loops you can add or how many flags you can put in and stuff like that. You're actually free to do what you wish. Okay, so another cool thing is we can import video. Now, of course, all the speed controls work the same. You can switch you like you can switch the loop off but leave it in place. Now this is handy in case you think, well, okay, I'm finished with that, but I might want to come back to it later and do a bit more. You know, check it out some more. We can just put this kind of here and it will ignore the loop. Alright, or we can just completely delete the loop from where it is. Okay. So let's see. Now, another really cool thing is is you can import video from your camera roll. Now this is handy, right? So let's tap again on this little icon here and go to camera roll. And I'm going to import this little video and go use. Now it will it will normally it will process. So the longer the video, the longer it will take to process. But since I've already had a mess with this, this should just go in straight away. But as soon as you open a video like this, it will be a little process bar. It doesn't take too long, but this will go straight away. So I'm just going to use and it will compress the video for us to use in the project. And it'll be a new project, by the way. Okay. Any second now, there you go. Now, you'll see that in this video, I am going to click this because I was playing with this. I'm going to go restore original track. Now, there's the track and there's the video, right? So, if we play this, I'm going to close the EQ bar out so we get a little bit more screen. If we play now, you can see we can skip it forward a bit. It's a little Cubasis project. It has drums, bass, it has a little bit of piano, and it has some uh, vocal synthesis from uh, Pure Synth Platinum. You can do exactly the same thing with the speed up and the slow down. So, double tap to reset so if you've got a singer who wants to if you've got a piece of music and you've got a singer who wants to sing it in a different key you can repitch this and practice it that way you can speed it up you can slow it down you can speed it up and repitch it etc etc you can still add your loop points in like this for the video the audio and you can still add your flags in like that okay so we're going to delete that flag because we don't need it now, this also works with the splitting of the audio. So we have four tracks here. So theoretically, we should be able to get a pretty, pretty good split over the bass, drums, the little piano part. So again, click on the toaster icon, choose isolate this, choose vocals, bass, drums, and instruments. Do this and it'll split. Now, like I said, it's happened instantly because I've already tried it. So if I was to go back to my track here, the one, this one, the pause, but all that stuff that I put in earlier will be remembered by Transcribe Plus. So anyway, let's take the drums out, shall we? And like I said, you can export the audio, you can ex export the stems and remix these in any door you like.
And I think that's super good. It seems super useful. It's useful for many, many things. If you're, say for instance, you've got a video of a uh, super fast guitar part or something, and you want to slow that super fast guitar part right down so you can see, or you want to practice or, or keyboard parts or drums or whatever you like. This is also really useful for things like that. And guys, I think I've pretty much, pretty much covered uh, every, everything that you, you, you know, that you need to know about using Transcribe Plus. I think it's awesome. Like I said, if we go back to browse now and I open pause here, it's instant and it's remembered all my changes in terms of my loop points, my flags, and then we can still further go back and just say, well, okay, well, I just want to, you know, restore the original track and it'll restore it if I were to take that loop point out. Say, for instance, you want to delete all your flags, just in, just delete all flags and loops and they're all gone and you can then add new ones in and do it, do whatever you like. Okay, so let's just have a quick look through, make sure I've covered everything. Yep. And yeah, it's really, really good. And like I said, all the processing now is done inside the app. I think that's really cool. Guys, brilliant. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron. And uh, yeah, go and grab Transcribe Plus. If you haven't already got it, it's such a useful app for all sorts of things. You know, I'm sure it's, if you're watching this, there are some limitations, obviously, with playing copyrighted music and Apple music and things like that. That's unavoidable. That's with anything, you know. But for me personally, I use this to listen and work on tracks that have already done so some of these older stuff that me and joe have done maybe we could uh, you know split the stems up like that take it out remit you can like re re eq the drums re eq the vocal add effects to the vocals you can add effects to basses and just completely redo stuff it's epic repitching stuff speeding things up Repitching without adjusting the uh, respeeding without adjusting the pitch is getting super handy. Maybe you want to do a club mix of one of your favorites. <laughs> I don't know, but you, you know what I mean. You know what I'm getting at. Anyway, <clears throat> thanks so much for watching, and I will see you later. Yeah, awesome. Transcribe Plus, top app in my opinion. I think it's really great. Two guys later, chill.